Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope you're having a good day so far and uh, it's such a blessing to study the word together. And uh, today we are, uh, uh, this uh, week, uh, these episodes, we've been looking at uh, the word of God and particularly we've been looking at some of the prayers that have been prayed in the word and uh, so that we can learn from them and we can pray those prayers in our own lives. Maybe some of these things we've never even thought of we never even plan to pray such prayers. But when we look at these aspects, some of the aspects, some of the spiritual aspects that, uh, that we see being addressed, we can pray the same over our lives. So uh, today we're going to look at uh, uh, Ephesians 3 and uh, we're going to look at a few verses. Uh, we pick up from uh, verse 17 where Paul says that, where Paul prays that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, meaning let Christ's likeness be seen, be uh, reflected uh, uh, in your lives, being rooted and grounded in love, that you may be able to understand or comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge. So as a community of believers, uh, Paul is praying that as a community of believers that you would know the extent of God's love and this love that goes beyond knowledge. This goes beyond information. Right? So he's saying that this love of Christ which passes knowledge, well it's one thing to get information, it's one thing to you know, learn about this. But he's saying it, it goes beyond gnosis or knowledge. And he's referring to an experience. He's referring to revelation. So Paul says that, that you may have this kind of revelatory or revelation knowledge and experience of the love of Christ. Okay, in verse 18, second part, he also says that you may be filled with all the knowledge or all the fullness of God. And the picture that we have is of a, of a, a, a freight ship where, which is uh, loaded with all kinds of merchandise and goods and you know, everything, containers and, and everything. So, so it's filled to capacity. Right? Every available space that can be loaded is loaded with the, with the freight. And so that's the picture that we have. And Paul prays that uh, over, the, over the believers and he's saying that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. So in, in other words, he's saying you be full of God just like how that freight ship is full of those containers and, uh, and, and all the materials that it's taking, all the, you know, all the weight that it's taking. So you be full of God. Um, so in other words, he's saying you, you hunger after and you receive and then don't be satisfied. You be full or filled with the fullness of God. And obviously it is so that we might reflect the fullness of God uh, uh, through our lives. Right? So let's pray along these lines. Father, we thank you that you've called us to grow in community and uh, to explore the length and width and, and understand your love that passes knowledge goes beyond this information, God, and to understand it in the context of other believers, with other believers. We thank you, Lord. And uh, Lord, we also thank you that you've called, your desire is that we be filled with your fullness. And Lord, we pray May we reflect this in our lives. May we make this our prayer, our daily prayer. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.